This video is made in partnership with Eufy. You're taking the words from me It's like I forget to speak You're stuck in a circle of thoughts Just give me your therapy And I couldn't stand to believe it Good morning everybody, we're out here in Hawaii This is a day in the life with the Samsung S24 Ultra I'll show you how I use it throughout the day Especially when it comes to travel But first, let's get breakfast So we are going to a place called Bogert's We're gonna check it out we heard it's a small space and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get there. But what I love about the S24 Ultra is how big the screen is. So right now navigating on the way there is a lot easier. So my wife got this um, grippy things and it's basically a MagSafe accessory. I could just snap it on on the back of my S24 Ultra. Then I could just stick it right on here. Boom. We're in business, she baby. Likes to change with the seasons. She likes to change with the seasons. Be myself and I bring. We don't see the same no more. I was switching on the home team. I swim and I've been here before. I'd rather bet it on me. You slept on me way too. So we're here at Hogarth's now. Just look at this. Big cup of coffee. Um, I think yeah. they serve Italian coffee. I'm not sure coffee. how the color is right now. Yeah, Italy. Yeah, it looks like they serve Italy coffee, which I think is, yeah, Italian. So I got the ribeye steak, loco moco. My wife got their breakfast bagel. So that place was pretty good. Um, I've had better ribeye loco moco though at Mokis. This one is more like shredded ribeye, um, but still pretty good. Uh, my wife's bagel, she said it was okay, nothing special. Give me your therapy, and I couldn't stand to believe it. And I do no wrong, I just leave it. She likes to change with the seasons, she likes to change with the seasons. Um, a brand wanted to chat really quick. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Being self-employed, you really don't stop working. And I think this is a good time to try the voice focus feature on the S24 Ultra. We'll see if the person on the other line can actually hear me. John? Yes. Can you hear me okay? Cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> so good to hear. <laughs> yes, that sounds great. Can you tell me what type of product it is? Yes, I will. I will. I will. Thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Sweet. So that phone call went really well. I was talking to a brand. Well, actually, it's an agency that's representing the brand that I've worked with in the past. And when a brand comes back and wants to work with you again, that's always such a nice feeling. It's kind of like a validation. Sometimes when you're working with an agency, you don't really hear the client's feedback, like how the campaign went and all of that stuff. And it's just so nice to hear that. Um, you probably saw how big my smile was while I was talking to her. But anyway, the voice focus feature on the S24 Ultra worked really well. She said that she could hear me loud and clear. Um, there's like people mowing right here. There's like traffic noises. There's wind going on and she could still hear me, which is great. The problem was when I had her on speaker, I could still hear all of those like environmental noises. And so I had to take her off speaker and I was able to hear her better. Um, and a quick battery check. We are at 87%. It's been about two hours and we have about 37% of screen on time. We're going to go uh, somewhere in Waikiki. I mean, we're already in Waikiki, but we're going to a different spot and try to get some lunch and walk around and maybe shop a little bit. So in direct sunlight, the S24 Ultra is definitely brighter. I had both phones in max brightness, and then I had the adaptive brightness on the S24 Ultra. And honestly, the reflective coating of the S24 Ultra is super clutch, especially when it's like high noon sun, like right now. Steak wrap and Emily got a salad. Let's 
go. We're walking back to the car and we're gonna have our baby take a nap because we have a photo shoot this afternoon. But before that, how was Nalu, babe? What do you think of it? Nalu never disappoints. <laughs> I told John if I lived here, I would eat there every day. Yeah. But it, that's, that's if you like salads, wraps, smoothies, stuff like that. Yeah. Love it. If you wanna be healthy. Love I'm it. not healthy, so. <laughs> no, but it was actually good. The steak wrap was really good. The acai bowl really good too so obviously i'm taking a lot of photos and videos today and one thing i really appreciate is the switch to the higher resolution 5x instead of the 10x because most often than not i'm finding the 10x to be a little too tight and the 5x is just more usable for travel and all of that stuff in my opinion so i had my wife take a picture of me I was playing with the uh, AI removal of shadows and reflections, but unfortunately, it wasn't quite working. I thought it was going to take out the reflection of the sunglasses or anything like that, but when I tried to do it, um, it really wasn't working. Uh, it says, no erasable reflections detected. And so I took a couple more photos just of myself, and it did work on this image right here, mostly the sky in this image so it didn't quite work in the way that i thought would be really awesome but when it comes to removal of shadows like just take a look at how different that is i'll go before after before after and i think it's pretty usable let's take a look at it zoomed in yeah it looks pretty good there is a little bit of weirdness going on here in this portion of the image in a pinch that might be okay and the time right now is 1.38, 62% battery life, and an hour and 55 minutes of screen time. We are leaving here, or we have to leave here around 3.30 to go to the photo shoot place, which is about an hour away. Um, so I'm just trying to rest. Um, it's super hot outside. I don't want to be out there. I'm just going to be chilling here until we have to leave. Um, probably watch YouTube or something. So, see you in a minute. We are here at the spot. We're actually close to the Koaloa Ranch. This is right there. And this is the spot where we're taking photos. Um, if it doesn't work out here, we're going to check out another spot. Uh, but we decided to check this one first. Uh, we saw the photos that she took in this spot and we really loved it uh it's called the ka ka'awa beach park yeah. one thing i know about love you never know when it's coming but you sure know it when it does yeah one thing i know about love uh, you might get what you ask for so you better be Hey guys, future John here. We are back in Alaska, no longer in Hawaii, sadly, but we had a really, really good first trip with our son, soaked in all the sun we can get, ate lots of food, and of course, lots of beach time, which you'll see more of on day two. Going on vacation is always so exciting to me. It's one of the few times where I could actually turn my brain off doesn't happen that often but i take full advantage of it just enjoying my time and living in the moment but i must admit the idea of coming back home and going back to real life can be really dreadful cooking cleaning doing the laundry those are the last things that i want to do especially coming back from a really relaxing vacation but thankfully up sent us the s1 pro so i don't have to worry about cleaning as much as i used to let's start with its eye-catching design the up s1 pro is hands down the best looking robot vacuum i've ever seen it's the world's first floor washing robot with vacuum and real-time self-cleaning they paid attention to every detail from its physical design like the font the two-tone finish to its functionality like the ability to operate the s1 pro without an app it notifies you when it's time to refill the water tank it has an eco clean ozone which deeply cleans surfaces while removing bacteria and mites everything just feels very intentional and well thought out it looks very modern and sleek it's straight up giving me batman vibes so i decided to name it alfred and since it's a good looking robot vacuum i don't mind displaying it in our entry area as it looks so clean 
The thoughtfulness also carried over to its functionality. The squared body design allows it to navigate through various low profile furniture and this also enables it to clean hard to reach areas and it does a really good job which is not surprising since it has 8,000 pascals of suction which is about four and a half times stronger than our previous one. Thanks to its 3D matrix eye, it can intelligently avoid obstacles so my son can freely roam around the house without getting bothered by the robot as it cleans, it moves swiftly, and it's pretty smart. My favorite thing about the S1 Pro is its mopping feature. Inside, it has a clean water tank and a wastewater tank. So while it's mopping your floors, it wets the mop with a constant stream of fresh water. And at the same time, it squeezes out the dirty water and sends it to the wastewater tank. So it's not just simply dragging dirty water across your floor, which is counterproductive and this also reduces the amount of time it needs to go back to base. On top of that, the roller mop automatically lifts up when it detects carpet to prevent it from getting wet. The Eufy S1 Pro offers an efficient and convenient solution for cleaning that you can trust. It mops and vacuums at the same time, self empties the dust bin, cleans the mop as it goes, and also dries it. And to me, that means more time with the family, less chores to do on the weekends, and peace of mind while I'm on vacation. I've used a ton of other robot vacuums in the past, and truthfully, the Eufy S1 Pro outperforms them all. It's aesthetically pleasing, it's user-friendly, and its functionality is top-notch. And if you order yours today, you can take advantage of up to 40% off the Eufy S1 Pro, and make sure to use the link below. Okay, so we are driving to Halaiva right now. Um, got our coffee, we got iced coffee from Kai, and then we saw Glaze Days. Be better Days. Better Days. And five stars on Google. Five stars on Google. My wife wanted to try it, so she got a hot coffee there. And now we're ready to go to Halaiva. Sun is sleeping in the back, so we are good to go. <laughs> So one thing that I really love about the Galaxy S24 Ultra is the circle to search. I use it quite a bit to look up whether it's a bird, a plant, a tree, an article of clothing, whatever it is, it's so useful. And let me show it to you right now in action. So if I wanted to know the name of this plant, um, I could easily just pull up my camera and basically hold this thing right here. I don't have the home button, so this is how I trigger circle to search. And I just circle around the plant and basically Google searches it for me. And now I get to know the name of the plant and some facts about it, which I think is really cool and useful. The other day, there was a bird that flew into our balcony. And so I just took a quick picture of it and I used circles to search and I was able to find out what type of bird it was. And again, it's super useful for travel. So right now it is 1035 and we have 80% of battery life with an hour and 28 minutes of screen on time that is a good amount of usage right off the bat um been using the maps a lot camera and also instagram a little bit okay we've tried a lot of their coffee before but this one this one is my favorite sweet love it's really good and it's really nice to be able to enjoy coffee from Hawaii, especially when it's really cold in Alaska. Which one do you want? Ooh, okay. I guess we're gonna have to get this one too. <laughs> Aloha. This is really cute. Place called Surf and Salsa. Um, we're having breakfast, I guess you could say. Having chips and guac. And we're sharing one chicken taco. This is the warm up to the whole day. I basically eat to travel and I plan my day around eating. Okay, sorry. I basically travel to eat and I plan my day around food and the places that we want to try. So right now at Haleiwa, probably gonna hit up Giovanni's which is a shrimp truck and we're gonna hit up uh, Ray's it's like a rotisserie chicken type of thing you'll see it all later but yeah we're just chilling here right now before we head to the beach
goodness. So my wife and I have been to Hawaii together about seven times. Um, we have gone to Oahu probably six times. We love it here because there's like a good mix of like city living. I feel like Alaska is already too small for me. And so going into Honolulu, Oahu, like having that big city vibe is so nice, especially having the beach right there. And when we want something a bit more chill, we go to Halaiva. Um, you'll see a little bit more later why. It feels more like a beach town, small town vibes, which is really nice. Um, right now we're at Ray's Chicken. I just put in an order. And ever since finding out about this place, we've gone here on almost every trip. So it's basically just like chicken, rice, and then a pineapple coleslaw salad, which is so good. And it's very refreshing to eat on the beach, especially when it's super warm. Thank you. in the car, really, really hungry, want to eat lunch. I think I want to get set up first, but we're going to wait a little bit. So we've been here a good amount of time now. Um, we love coming to this beach because there's not as many people. It is a little bit more rocky than the other um, beaches in this area. But yeah, there's no crowds, um, less people, which is really nice and it's a bit more chill. Um, especially when compared to Waikiki. What are you doing there? So the perks of eating on the beach is you get to have some sand with your snack. <laughs> yeah, we had too much stuff and so I lost track of it and it one of the bags kind of rolled over and it fell on the sand. So now we're trying to clean, trying to do our best to clean the donut so we can still enjoy it because it's actually really good. Yeah. We stopped by this new place. It's called Ted's Bakery. It's not new. New to us. Yeah, new to us. The amount of times that we've been here, we haven't gone there. And so we got a glazed donut and banana muffin. So here's my banana muffin. That's sand right there. That's not part of the muffin, unfortunately. But I'm just gonna peel the top part off. I'm still gonna eat it. So one thing that can be really useful for travel when it comes to the S24 Ultra is using the S Pen as your share button. So right now, I'm gonna be walking away from the my phone. I'm gonna stand right here. I'm just gonna try to take a photo really quick. A smile, I'm gonna put this down. See how that works and that could be a really good way to take family photos so you can set the frame however you want and you're not relying on another person taking your photo so we're getting ready to leave here we're going back to Haleiwa probably get Haleiwa bowls which is like an acai place it is now 340. one thing that you're not seeing in this video is how many photos I'm taking I've been taking photos with this and the iPhone 15 Pro for my full review and we'll be comparing the photos and video capabilities of both phones so stay tuned for that. So I thought it would be cool to compare my usage with the S24 Ultra so far with my wife's iPhone 14 Pro and just kind of see the battery usage and all of that. I know that it's not going to be a fair comparison, but I just think it's something that will be good to take note of. So this is my wife's usage right now. It was charged up to 76% at 8.44 a.m. and she is now down to 6% and she used a low power mode at around 9 a.m and she has been on low power mode ever since and she has 4 hours and 44 um, screen time and 33 minutes of idle time. 
And then for my S24 Ultra, we have 44% at 4.27 p.m. We have two hours and 49 minutes. And this is my battery status right now. One, 13 hours, one minute left, 44%. And here is my usage. So I was trying to use the wireless power sharing for my wife's phone. She only has 6%, right? But I can't seem to make it work. I was able to make it work with the AirPods, with my AirPods last night. But right now it's not working. I tried taking off the case. Let me know if you guys have any tips on how to make it work because I can't seem to figure it out. We are stopping by in Alu. My wife is gonna get food here and then I'm getting shrimp from Giovanni's the food truck right over there somewhere, right there. Um, it's super good, it's one of my favorites. But we just thought that it would time perfectly with my son's nap time, his sleep schedule. Thing is, when you're a parent, and this is very new to me, um, a lot of your plans revolve around their sleep time, their sleep schedule. And so, if we head back to Waikiki right now, by the time we get there, it's gonna be his nap time, so we're not gonna be able to eat right away. So unfortunately, Giovanni's has closed. I'm trying big wave shrimp instead, and I'll report back and see how it is. So right now we're going back officially to our Airbnb. That place um, this is a good fix. It's not the same as Giovanni's. It's pretty close. It's a good fix, like I said, but Giovanni's is still the top for me. But I'll eat there again if Giovanni's is close. <laughs> We are back at the Airbnb. Overall, I must admit, I was hoping to do a lot more than what I showed in this video. The reality is, this is our first time traveling with our son and it's been a lot more difficult. But I guess that's kind of like a real travel day in the life with a baby. Let's take a look at the final battery here. So we have 25% at 6.59 p.m with three hours and 28 minutes of screen time. For me personally, that's really good. My wife's iPhone 14 Pro has been dead for a good amount of time now. Actually, she had the power saving on for most of the day and it still died faster than the S24 Ultra. And so that's really impressive to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this real travel day in the life with the S24 Ultra. If you did, please give it a thumbs up if you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.